the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now, Arkansas, interesting, interesting team here because their schedule is ridiculously tough. I mean, just ridiculous. Um, let me go on and pull up the stats here. Sam Pittman, of course, went 9-4 and four last year. That included a big-time bowl win over Penn State last year. Uh, looking at this, uh, the offensive coordinator, Kendall Bryles, it, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do with the wide receiver position. Jaden Hazelwood comes in. Can he take over the production that Traylon Burks left? They're not the same build wide receiver. They're not the same guy. But maybe you can find a way to make that work. Uh, the quarterback, K.J. Jefferson, had 2,600-plus passing yards last year, 800-plus non-sack rushing yards. He was number 10 in QBR. Uh, he's if, if anybody's underrated as far as a quarterback in this conference, I think it's got to be him. You got three of your top four running backs coming back. You got four offensive line starters back, but you do lose three of those top four wide receivers. Now, this is a team that likes to run the football quite a bit. Uh, their run rate was 65%. That's number eight in FBS. Uh, but they were number 81 on success rate on passing downs. Um, you, if you're, you got to be better at at that, right? It, with with KJ Jefferson being number 10 in QBR, but number 81 success rate on passing downs, they couldn't get it done when people knew that they were going to pass the ball. So you got to try and stay out of those situations. Uh, question here, what are they going to do with Malik Hornsby? Uh, he's too fast to keep off the field, but you can't play him a quarterback because KJ Jefferson's been too good. So obviously I think they're going to put him at wide receiver. You got to have him on the field. Uh, as far as defense, Barry Odom uh, has worked wonders with this defense over the last two seasons. Uh, you got a few big time playmakers, but almost an entirely new unit really going to rely on talented transfers coming in. Defensive end, Dominic, the linebacker, Sanders, the cornerback, McLaughlin from LSU. Uh, you got a lot of transfers coming in. Defensive tackle, Nichols, the linebackers, Bumper Pool, and Williams, cornerback, Bishop, the safety, Catalan. They're all back. They are all going to play major roles as leaders on this defense. They were number 11 in points per scoring opportunity, number 25 in defensive PPA. Team's pretty good. Like, they, they got some dudes. You just got to hope everybody else falls in line. Uh, they are projected favorites in only six games which was surprising to me. But when you look at this schedule, maybe it shouldn't have been that surprising. I mean, it is, it's is—it's kind of crazy. Uh, on offense, like I, looking at the keys to the season here, yeah, you know, let's start off with win total. Win total 7.5 is juiced to the under at minus 145. So to go over is plus 115. I kind of like the over here. Let's, uh, let's talk about the keys to the season. On offense, they were number 23 at avoiding third downs. Number 30, average third down distance. Uh, that's 7.6 yards. But even with that short distance, they were number ninety in third down conversions. Like, are you going to get uh, are you going to get improvement at that position? Along with that, Odom shifted the culture on the defense. It loses your top run stopper, your top pass rusher. Are they going to keep playing above their talent level? Uh, I mean, obviously the talent level has improved, but you know, again, schedule brutal. Non con of Cincy, Missouri State, which I'm very excited to see Bobby Petrino coming back uh, at BYU, and then you got Liberty. Like, those are all really well-coached teams. You could lose any of them. Uh, weeks four through seven are going to kind of tell the tale of the season. At that, in that spot, you've got A&M, Alabama, at Mississippi State, and at BYU. If you can go two and two there, I think you're feeling really good about yourself. Really, really good. Uh, I've got them at eight and four. I, I really like this team. I like what Sam Pittman's doing. This is a well-coached football team. Like, I, I like Arkansas quite a bit. So I, I expect big things out of them again. Uh, they are just they're upping the talent level big time. Uh, returning production here is 70, number 78 in the country, 59%. You know, uh, defense doesn't return a lot, but again, a lot of transfers coming in. Uh, I think they're going to be great. I think, I think the defense is going to be really good because I trust Barry Odom. I really trust Odom. So, uh, so we'll go with, uh, with those guys there on that. Now, with that said... 8-4 uh, and four for Arkansas. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.